everyone, Drunken Dan here with Ape Escape 7, episode 20, 4, episode 4, Ape Escape 2. So in this episode, we'll be going all the way up to, will we fight, I think we'll be fighting, yeah, we'll be fighting the next Freaky Monkey, and who is Pink, and also our first snow level. God, I actually really like snow in winter levels and ice levels in games. They're always just so pretty. I hate shoveling snow, but I like them. Wait, I said this before in the other Ape Escape game. Also, uh, I like how they right away throw you in an area where giant boulders are coming at you. Well, not, not really coming at you so much as they are bouncing at you. And again, like I said, the, this game has a lot more complex level design than the first game did. Oh, yeah, remember how I said the game kind of, like, acts up? Well, the game's freezing right now. Sorry about that. But like I said, don't worry, it's not going to be a... Like I said, I got the disc refurbished, so it's not going to be a problem. I don't know why my disc, how my disc got so beat up. I'm usually a lot more careful with my discs. Then again, I used to be I bought it used a couple of years ago, and I was playing it on the PS3, and right now I'm playing this it's on the PS2, because I don't have the, uh, the fat PS3 anymore. I, I went to the slim, because the fat one's kept dying. So probably, uh, the ps 3 is just really powerful. I know the PS3 like, can load up PS2 and PS1 games much faster than, uh, their original system. Like, uh... I don't know how many of you own Soul Calibur 3 for PS2. Implying there's one for another system. But uh, the load times in the original one were pretty long if you played it on a PS2. But if you play it on PS3, they instantly just load up. To the point where, you know the, uh, the little taunts in the beginning? Like the, uh, versus Mitsurugi! And then you can hit a button and make them make noise. Uh, it's so fast if you play it on a fat PS3 that you can't, you get like a noise out of them, so it's like, Heh! I mean, it makes sense. The PS3 is a much more powerful system than a uh, PS2, but it's just kind of funny. So, did you guys know it's Christmas in August? Well, it's Christmas in August. See the Christmas tree? Oh yeah, and also ice physics are in this game. And ice platforming. You know, again, I actually don't hate ice platforming in Vigi games. I, I don't hate it. The only things I hate in Vigi games are uh, sewer levels. No, no, not sewer levels. Uh, elevator levels, like in beat-em-ups and such, where you're on the elevator and things are attacking you, or you gotta dodge things or what have you. They're not even just in beat-em-ups, but, like, beat-em-ups are a good example of ones that have that. I don't like elevator levels, and I don't like those, uh, maze room puzzles where you have, like, 30-some-odd teleporters, and you gotta find the right teleporter or door, and you go through all this fucking shit, and it takes you forever. I hate those. Like, I feel like they put those in there where they're like, oh god, we gotta pad this game out a bit. There, there is one in, there's two in Mischief Makers. One is really easy, the other one's a little harder, but they actually give you hints. So it's not so bad to Mischief Makers. But, uh, I'd get more into that if I was LPing Mischief Makers. Which I might do one of these days. It's a good game. I played it, I, I got it recently, like, I got it this year, um, for my N64, because I got the N64 more recently. I grew up on the PlayStation, sue me. Um, and the game is great. Oh yeah, they, uh, announced, uh, while we're waiting before I say silly things again, uh, they announced Breath of Fire 6. The only thing that they've said so far, the only thing that they've, they've shown and done so far, they showed one pr promotional picture of some red-haired guy with a sword and shield sleeping. Some unnamed character art, and, uh... That was like, and I had to Google for that one, that one took me a bit to find. 
and uh, that it's on tablets and browsers. No new word if it's coming to the United States yet. By the way, did you know that translates to being a Maple Story game? I didn't know that, but I learned that recently. Thank you, Omega Sin. You fucking idiot. Well, it's not entirely okay. It's partially his fault for thinking that. Uh, there was a, uh, he was, he linked one of the articles, and one of them, the person who did the article, made the assumption that it's, that it looks like a, looks like Maple Story, like a casual RPG thing, even though we haven't heard any gameplay details, and we have just one promotional art. And a platform. And me being me, I don't react to announcements of games until I, ooh, look, Santa Claus, we're gonna kill Christmas. You've been naughty, Santa. Very, very naughty. Santa chimp, stop throwing grenades. Man. I guess all those times in his Christmas specials where Santa gets, like, attacked by people, he just finally just flipped his shit and got bombs. Oh, God, don't explode. Monkey claws. But, um... And that was all the article said. I actually got him to respond to me for once. Because he also was one of the people that was yelling at the whole Mega Man announcement thing. And I did a whole video where I was making fun of Where I was pointing out that nobody fucking reads. And the game media is kind of shit. Um, I think he didn't think I read it. So he actually responded to me for once. Calling me an idiot. Saying get off my blah 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 blah. And then I just pointed out that all the article said was. It looks like a Maple Story game. You're a goober. <laughs> no reply. Well, I didn't say that exactly, but, um... Ladivy Scope even took down the, uh... The, uh, the, uh, author reply thingy. You know, I think, like, when, um... Like, for example, if one of you put a comment on this video and I respond to it, it actually separates mine and my responses and you from everything else. Yeah, he actually took that down after... Not too long after. It was kind of funny. Now, I'm not saying going after him or anything. I'm just making fun of him. So anyway, back to Ape Escape. And less about making fun of gamers for being stupid. I like go to r slash true gaming. It's actually really interesting if you're into, like, design theory and actual, like, really, like, in-depth conversations. I mean, there are idiots on there. There's idiots everywhere. And I'm not saying I'm a genius, because no, no, I'm just fucking average. Okay, I get it. See, what I made a mistake before is that it's a little touchy. You can't just, you know, run dash onto it. You have to jump, and as you're falling, spin it. So when you land, you right away just go right into the dash animation. I like how it, how it like, hovers like that now. I really do. So here's one of the new vehicles in this game. The Snow Bunny. Yes, it's called the Snow Bunny. Heh. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. Oh, oh, fuck. Oh, okay, I'm good. By the way, like I said, the, the uh, vehicle controls in this game are so much better than they were in one. Now the boat, I think there's a boat at one point, controls the same. I heard they replaced it with the submarine. I know the submarines in this game, but I don't know if they have both or not. I think they, no, wait, no, they do have both. Sorry, my brain's farting now. It was a couple of it, so, a couple of videos ago where I was on the boat. Derp! Yeah, it controls the same as it did in one. And all the other vehicles control so much better. Like with the Snow Bunny, one of the uh, control sticks is the acceleration. The other one is the actual movement. So I uh, just did a skip ahead to get some health. Like I said, I was gonna cut out grinding for health because I know you guys would not want to see that. The Sky Flyer makes towering heights irrelevant. Use Give me a jetpack. Trainer to learn how to fly like a bird. No, birds don't really fly like this. Dan Green, stop lying to me. Stop lying to me. Stop it. But uh. So as you probably noticed, the Sky Flyer now it looks a lot different than it did before. Awesome. The Sky Flyer is a gadget that I will help you fly talk. to towering heights. Rotate the right analog stick as fast as you can. Yes, yes, my lord. The faster you rotate it, the higher and longer you can fly. Really, my lord? I don't think oh, why are you back, Misty? Gah! 
So yeah, the Skyflyer is now like an actual little device, and when you spin it, the bla the helicopter blades come out and actually has like an engine thing looking. It looks like it has like an actual engine, versus it looking like a two-sided fly swatter. More dang green. Nice flying. Now fly across to that spot. Ah, Misty! Jesus! I want to hear Dan Green's sexy voice. Not yours! Thank you, Dan Green. Your advice is most helpful. Don't worry, I'm just gonna do that for this video where I let Dan Green talk. Really, my lord? First, run and take a great big leap. Then start spinning your I will. Tire. This way, you get extra air time from the jump. You are a scout. Ah, no. Then rotate the right analog stick. Okay? Not okay. Now, start okay, it's with okay a now. Jump, and you'll soar even further. Go on. <laughs> he called me my boy. Senpai noticed me. Okay, that's the first and last time I'll ever reference that meme. I love the uh, flying gadget. It's one of the one of the best ones, especially if you are worried about a platform because you can just be a lazy pile of shit like I was in uh, Apescape One, where anytime I saw a platform I wasn't sure about, I was just like, eh, I'll use it. And the jungle, the mighty jungle, the monkeys are stupid tonight. She's more of a plains. Like, it was slightly with some mountainous terrain. And it is a jungle. Why did I call it a jungle? This isn't a jungle. I'm an idiot! I guess more like a mountainous plains kind of area. And there's probably a name for it, but I can't think of it at the moment. I don't think any of the enemies in this game. Well, some of them are, uh, work similar to old the ones in the previous. But I don't think any of them are really the same. All the flying enemies are different. Um, they have more types of flying enemies. They don't have that that weird thing from the first game, the one that would pop out of the ground and shoot a cannonball out of its uh, weird like birdo mouth. You know the one. Well, if you watch the, if you played Escape One or watched the playthrough of Escape One, you know what I'm talking about. You fucking dick! I hate you. Air. Oh, that only annoyed him. Haha! -ha! I knocked your ass out. You were no ally. Okay, it says Ally. Sue me. I wanted to. I wanted to make a joke. And it didn't quite give it to me, okay? Jesus. What am I doing? Yeah, I, I sometimes do that where I'm just like, wait, no, wait, other button. No, wait, other button. I like how I pulled it out and there's a monkey right fucking there. God, I'm an idiot. Olivia. <laughs> That's a girl's name. I still love that they made the coins actually mean something in this game. They keep that idea in uh, Escape 3. Ah, yeah, here's the boat. Yeah, they made it look like a turtle. It controls exactly the same as it did in 1. I fucking hate how this controls. It's just really... I never liked how the boat controlled in any of the Ape Escapes. What you have to do is uh, you steer it using the... Uh, by pushing forward or back on the... Uh, or like moving the route, r rudder in such a way. You don't have to like rotate it. But um, it's just so... It just feels odd. It's not bad, it's just really odd for me. I, I guess. I guess the thing is, I'm the dummy, but
Like, like again, like when I usually am bad at something, it doesn't mean that uh, the thing in question is the thing that's bad. It's just that I'm bad at the thing. I always hate that though when uh, people are bad at something and then they blame the product at hand. Oh, okay. Yeah, that was dumb of me. Yeah, they made these also a lot harder, the things where you gotta do. Man, I'm stupid today. But, uh, they made these harder. I just like how, how much more fun this game is than its predecessor. I mean, I'm not saying the other game's not fun, I'm just saying this game is better. This game does what a sequel needs to do. It takes the original, it takes the original game, takes what was good about it, fixes its flaws, and expands on everything, makes it bigger. That's, that's a good sequel to me. Take what you had before, and expand on it. Now, doing something different is not bad. But if you do something so vastly different, you, different, you can alienate... Oh, excuse me. You can alienate entire audiences. I mean, um... They give you some scope, too. Like, was it Street Fighter 3? Alienated a lot of players because, and actually, fighting in general alienated a lot of players because they were becoming too complicated. I'm a fighting game player, and I'm telling you that I played a lot of fighting games, and even the complicated ones, and I enjoy them. But the thing is, you, if you want to get new people in, you can't make it so ridiculously overly complicated as some of the games we're getting. The reason games like Tekken and su such, like Tekken, were alive during the, uh, pretty much the no fighting game arc that was most of the PS2, where there was only kind of like re-releases and uh, 3D fighters, is because the, the 3D fighters, while they had like big move lists, tend to be a lot more simplistic in terms of how they would play. But uh, like for example, Street Fighter 3, what alienated a lot of people was that because of that uh, counter mechanic they had that was, you know, a, a hard to master kind of mechanic, if you learned that, and you played against somebody who, and I, I didn't know how to do it, and you played against someone who had no idea how to do the counter system, you win. And that ali that pissed off and alienated a lot of like new players. It also didn't help that three two had had only like three characters from the previous games. I'm not saying three had no good characters. I, I like uh, Elan Elena. I like uh, Ibuki. Kodo. I like D Dudley. I fucking love Dudley. God, I was so happy when he got back. I, mean, I really like the other characters I just mentioned, but fuck, I love Dudley, man. The, uh... I'm trying to think, was there any... I don't really care about Alex, I'm gonna be honest with you. I know a lot of people like him, but I don't really care about him. Q had no character. He was just breathing in a mask and wore a trench coat. Uh, Necro was annoying. Mainly because anytime I would lose to him, he would always do that taunt where he just starts yodeling. I just love that I'm doing more in these levels. Like, I'm, like, moving around a lot more. There's a lot more variety to the levels in this game. Oh yeah, I'm fighting one of these things right away. Oh heck, fuck! It has a flamethrower. I don't remember it having a flamethrower in the old in the uh, previous. <laughs> it just fucking like despawned the top part of it, but only the top part. <laughs> I've never seen it do that before. I like how the only rigging you have, other than your basic bones, is that your hair has a slight bounce to it. That was excellent work. His Jimmy. mustache is rigged <laughs> to to wiggle when he talks. I love it. Jimmy, I'm sending a new gadget. I hope this helps you. The banana rang attracts monkeys with its powerful aroma. I hate this gadget, I'm gonna be honest with you. The gadget trainer, and you'll be the Pied Piper of the jungle. Do you want to go to the I'll explain why I don't like it in a second. So Well 
I'm gonna let Dan Green talk a bit more in this one. So, how it works is that you, you pull back, and then you're supposed to let go to have it throw, but because it also aims that way, it sometimes will slide off of where you want it to go. Um, in order to set out the aroma, what you do is you start spinning it, and to call back the, the banana ring is you push down the button. No, wait, no, Dan Green, you get to talk. Talk! Jimmy, there's a lot more to the banana rang than you think. <gasps> you can make the banana rang emit a fruity scent that the monkeys can't resist. You don't say. This could be really useful for catching all those monkeys. Yes, indeed. After you've thrown the banana, yes. you rapidly rotate the right analog stick. This releases a delicious banana aroma. Try throwing it towards Why does everything Dan Green says just sounds amazing? The, scent. the monkey decoy will react to the scent. Look! Already did it. I already did it! I already did it, redhead! No, wait. Dan Green, speak to me again. One thing to You're not Dan Green! Towards a monkey and press the L2 button. You mean the thing I learned before, Dan Green? This will activate the monkey cam. When you find hungry monkeys, use the banana rang scent to your advantage. I don't really use the banana rang much. I only use it at points where you have to. I, it's, I just. It's really. Like I said, it's really awkward to control because. It, since you pull back to throw it, it kind of, like, and how the analog sticks work, uh, feel, it sometimes will just slip and move a little bit to the left or right where you don't want it. Uh-oh. I got a new message on my Pip-Boy. Oh, no. This holotape is amazing. Use the transporter to try to send himself back to you, Jimmy. Jimmy, Pippochi is lost out there somewhere. I'm sorry, my boy. Your mission is even more difficult now. Listen, you'll have to search for Pippochi while you're catching the monkeys. I'm worried about Pippochi too, but you have to catch the monkeys first. We're counting on you. You know, the thing that's kind of funny about this to me is that. They literally are living in a room. <laughs> What's wrong, little monkey? Can't escape me! <laughs> so, <laughs> now that I'm done being evil, uh, they live, they're in one room, because the entire house got destroyed, and they couldn't keep an eye on the little monkey. Fuck. Come here. You too, pig poop thing. You know, I make that joke, but the game makes that joke in one of the comics you can get in the, uh... In that gotcha machine. Fuck. These are blue pants. I gotta... Yeah, like I said, you actually gotta do this with some of the monkeys. You can't just, you know, catch them with ease. It's kind of annoying, really. I'm gonna pig poop face. Uh, see, I'll use this to get that. Yeah, like I said, it's a little like. Yeah, like see that? It just kind of happens. I mean, maybe I'm just fat fingering it. Like, if you guys play this, you tell me. I mean, I got tiny hands, so I don't know how the hell I'm fat fingering it, but whatever. That's one monkey down. There's another monkey around here too. Oh yeah, another one is in. <laughs> Struggle! Struggle! Try to run away! <laughs> Mine. <laughs> Sandy. 
puns. I think the monkeys are in here. Ah, just one monkey. I'll just slip up behind him and... Oh god, he's not wearing pants! Naked monkey. I can't believe they would, they would put that in a children's game, a naked monkey. I am really appalled. Um, I think I'm going to have to uh, make a, a case action suit against Ape Escape. Because that was really deplorable. And I can't believe they would ever show something like that to children. I don't know what's wrong with this company. I don't know why they think they can just show such explicit penile nudity to children. But I will not rest until this is stopped. Oh yeah, you need the uh, hammer thingy for this. I don't have it. I always get a little lost and kind of thrown around in the stages. I always forget. Hey, can I go here? Yeah, they add more uh, water and they add things that are just like in the water, like those enemies from the shore that shoot electricity. It's fucking terrifying having those things in the water, considering what water and electricity do when you put them together. Spoiler! Not very good things. I want all of these. I do like, too, that they improve the swimming mechanic controls in this game. You know, again, I'm weird. I don't even hate, like, just, uh, water levels in games. I think the only water level I didn't really like that I can think of is the Mega Man Legends 2 one. And it's just because it slowed down the game to me. Well, not to me, but it just actually literally did. Because it was slow. It, uh, that's the only reason I didn't like it. No, no flying saucer for you, jerkbag! That's one of the things I like in this game is that if you're know what you're doing, you can keep from having to deal with some of the more annoying shit in the game, like flying saucers. I like that, that game. That some games will do that, where like you can avoid shit. Like for example, in Tenchu Fatal Shadows, there's a uh, boss. There's a boss fight, this blind guy, that your character is hired to kill. And uh, what you can do is you can you know go in and fight him directly, or you can have her go in the floor under the floor underneath of him and she just pulls out her sword and stabs him in the ass killing him oh fuck stupid camping monkey get over here what where do you think you're going you're going to my net that's where you're going you don't get to run away like that Ooh, extra life yeah you're probably noticing that healing items are actually a lot more rare now so this game's a dick bag at times by at times I mean all the time. It's a good thing I like this game. <laughs> Gotta get all the coins. Oh yeah, I can do that, can't I? I'm fucking stupid. I can't help it. I'm a greedy slob. Ah, fuck it. Anything else in here? Any yeah, monkeys? Nah. Cuddle all the monkeys. Hey. I'm gonna make a giant dive, though. Curse Oh. Curse splash! Now I felt safe. I love how goofy the music is, where they have like those little like. Ay, ay. Like I like to imagine it being monkey singing for some reason. That's probably what they were going for, honestly. But I don't really know, cause I wasn't on the sound team of a game made in fucking Japan. A really good game made in Japan, but you know, still. And with how uh, xenophobic the, the, like a lot of Jap the Japanese are, it's uh, yeah. If you're planning on trying to work in Japan, uh, good luck to you, because it's probably not going to happen. You can try. I mean, I'm not going to tell you you can't, but Japanese are actually, like I said, really xenophobic, so they don't tend to hire.
people outside of Japan. Like, if you think we're bad with immigrants, dear God. <laughs> so now we fight Pink Money, the pop star, Guan. You always gotta have the pop star. Let's shape escape three, then you gotta have two pop stars. Here I come. Oh, God. That's what you sound like. Nope. Go, go away. You will you love me a long time? Because you have one of those kind of voices. Uh, and the J-pop! Stop it! I'd rather listen to the Amy Team song. Actually, Team Rose's song is actually pretty funny. Not Team Rose, uh... Uh, Amy's theme is actually pretty funny. Get out! Oh, God, I got hearted. She's a monkey succubus! Die! Get off me! I'm gonna hit you with my club. Oh, God, I got pushed away. I... Fucking... This is a really good boss fight, but... Fucking the singing, god damn! This is like really like annoying. Like this is something like I would I would mic spam in TF2 just to annoy people. She sounds like like the noises she makes are so fucking girly, like over the top girly. It's argh. stop it! Stop it! Stop shooting hearts at me! God damn it! I'm gonna kick your ass, Athena! There's no one who gets what I'm referencing. Well, I punched you in the face. How dare you do this to me? I've been looking forward to doing this. Yes, I hate pop stars. Oh shit, I do. What gives you the right to ruin a monkey's dream? so you have something against pop stars? Is that it? Yes. Yes, it must be that. Yes. You're just jealous that Pink is becoming famous and you are! There's no turning back now. Are you gonna do that Yandere thing where you get all crazy and you pull out the knives and okay, you're going that route. Yep. Fucking Yandere's. Fucking. Oh, good. And now it's roaring at me. This is great. The fucking thing's roaring at me. Alright, now I can get up here and punch her in the face. Come here, Super Saiyan! Oh god. Oh god. I don't even know what those are. Those are like dolphins? They're electrified? I don't even know how to react to that. I don't think, don't know if awesome or stupid. Okay, what are you doing now? Oh, more bombs, good. John Darius. I guess she makes like growling noises and hissing noises. Growl! I'm not sure who's crazier, you or Yellow Monkey. I really don't. Oh well, I knocked you the fuck out. Get in my net, bitch! Yes. That's the end of you, you dumb shit. I like how Spectre looks unhappy in that zoom away. Good job. But well, that's bad. it for today's episode. Now that we beat up a some annoying pop star, have a good day. worried.
Just where could Pippachi be?